Penal Black, folks, and here we go right off the bat. <clears throat> so let's take a look at this as we go back in time, and you will see this and this, and like I've always been telling you, triangulations, and we are getting a closer, this is closer to all the stuff that's been going around this, because that is not the moon, okay, and it is a sun, okay. Now here we go, we're going to back up, watch your time here, okay, time and date, and let me blow it up a little bit. I'll give it you like 150, will that work? I think I can keep the clocks in on that. No, nope, we'll go on to my fire. Back it up. You have that, that, and yes, that's just the light on the front of the basement. Okay. But this is in space. This is a reflection. This one here is for sure anyway. Okay. This one? Don't know. Might be. Don't really think so. It looks solid going across. Okay. Because I'll step back. There you go. So that looks solid going across out there, okay? And you also have that one up there, too, right in front of it. You can see a little bit right there in front of that sun, okay? And then you get, you see this whip action we get? You see that? Now, it could be CME, but it bounces off whatever that solid object that comes across in front of this. And that's not the moon. At least we don't believe it to be, because we believe that basically the moon had a half. Eh, maybe it is bouncing off the moon then, whipping around the moon. But anyway, this is South Pole. It could be aurora action. But if it's aurora action, it's hella bright in the night and whips off of something because you get that. All right. So, possibly aurora action in front of this sun that's not the sun, because that's not the sun, and that's not the moon, okay? So, I think it's some of our supergiant objects that I've given you in the past. It's just, uh, not down there, so I don't know, okay? And as you see, that tumbles, okay? And that's not the moon. That's not the sun. And we get that whip action. And basically, it's fairly easy to surmise that that CME action hitting the softest part of our coronal. This here. And aurora action. But it's normally purple down there. So, And as you see, we're getting this feed in black and white. Okay. But it is nighttime in this shot. So basically, it's probably real color. Okay, so at nighttime it's just light. Okay, and as you see, more than likely, some of that light action behind is also. Now, there's one thing to put into effect too is watch here as we see this that sometimes there has been objects that come in that exact spot between there and the house. So I can't totally detest that that might not be an object that stays there for a while below the station, even though we do know there's a light there. Certain times, effects with the aurora or something make that light on the front of the basement here look bright sometimes. Either that or there's actually an object that pops underneath there, because I know early last year we had objects that would pop and show below the station, okay? And people were, no, it's the light. Well, it wasn't the light because it was daytime and the light wouldn't be on during the day. Okay, so we might still be getting something down there, but you do, we do know that there is a light there, but it could be part of these objects coming through that's right below the station, but all this to the left, as I back back up, as this sun comes along, okay, So, as the sun comes along at nighttime, 2400 hours, it's pretty much midnight. There's midnight. And then here we go. Okay, and then I'm just going to hit start and let it play through. And then the sun pretty much in the supergiants right there. 
And you see the other stuff back there. And let's stop back up and go to that real fast. As we see in the sun, there was something trailing behind. And as you see the signature of the sun or whatever's in front of the sun, or whichever sun we are getting right now from the supergiants, there's a signature in front of that. Okay, and that's it at 3D, and it basically just like a, a cherry that's on the top of a squad car or any fire truck. Okay, there's something that is in front of the sun because that's the sun at 6:20, and we just hit it start. I think it'll keep playing. So you know the signatures are different in front of that little sun, and this, and so forth and so on. So. Uh, and there's our dark object that comes up, halo effect, and then gets the sky dark, and then they get that going there, which I'm going to back that up. Now, there is, I didn't I know if I got cut off at the very end of my, there is, but there, that is not, that is just something that they're pulling around, telemetry or GPS or something like that. It's the top of one of their machines or something like that, and it's new. It's not what we've seen before because you can see these gaps there, and what we saw before was a drawing or something like that, some wood. So, so anyway, something's new down there that they're moving around or it's placed there. But no matter what, when we back it up, we do know that we've had, which is going to make that big shadow there that you got, and I'm going back in time, and basically we know that we have that object there, okay, that shadow there, that there, see, because I'm going backwards. We have that shadow there, okay, that's something up in the sky. Okay, because it does that. Okay, so Shakespeare doesn't work on Americans very well. So, and oh, the truth bleeds. Okay, so let's look what we got on the other cameras because basically you just seen that big whip action there. Okay, more than likely, uh, it's electrical static, possibly. And we got this footage here from a uh, volcano cam. You can pronounce it yourself, but let me hit play. So you see what you see. It's a volcano cam from there. 
watch your clock here, I can pretty much prove to you that what you've seen in the other footage at the other direction was not the moon because that's the moon there more than likely going backwards right there, okay? That is more than likely the moon, okay? Now I go back through this, bring that back. I think I can bring it back. And you think if you take time to, you'll be able to see the holographs again too that are out there on the snow. And I believe that's the moon coming back as I bring it back. This is basically be going forward like if it was playing. If I'm wrong, then that's our same object from a farther distance. But I really do believe that, that there is the moon. Okay, because you just see the reflection changes. Because we gotta have a half face half not even half on the moon right now when is that moves away but then as you see you get an interesting no matter what it is if it is the moon check out the little step it does as it's moving away so And we see our clock time. What we've got there at those times is, because you can see the clock right here in the lower right, you don't have to see the top. I can give you the whole screen as much as I can up there. Boom. If we bring that back, 22 to 30. So I'll match that up with the other clock. Oh, you know, go back in the video. Because basically that should be the sun and the supergiants going down in that direction, giving us night time there. And then from the other direction, the other camera, you see that sun and stuff that you see on the other one. So more than likely that's the moon right there. Okay, More than likely that's the moon. Because basically you can see the half the sun is giving it, as you see right there. I can blow that up. Pretty sure it's the moon. But in, in, in at that instance, it doesn't really matter what the hell it is. We know that the sun is going down over there to that direction, which would be west. You remember at the South Pole, so. But the idea, the factual, that what I showed you on the other one from the other direction on the other camera was not the moon, and that is the moon. Or an object, anyway no matter what, and then that other is not the moon, okay? So, more than two suns, and the moon, South Pole, Antarctica, Nehemiah, and it should be able to have a clock here somewhere on the picture, there you go, upper right, okay? That's the view to the south, which would have been the moon, in other words, to the north. And basically, it looks like satellites are down or something. Something's up because two is down, three is down. Okay, both showing black. This is the latest that I'm getting here, and then we have an interesting little signature there because it looks like a little, you know, it's huge. But I mean, there's something kind of like making a shape right there at the end of the supergiants and the sun there. And we've seen what we just showed you at Nehemiah. So we'll go down here through this so you know that the dates. That's the newest I've got there. I'll see if I can get the stills from Sechi. And then you have this here. And I'll scroll up slowly so that you can get a look. You can freeze and look at what you want there and behind and ahead. And most interesting is what we have is here. A triangulation look at that. And I'll even blow that up a little. Now we've seen plenty of that and I call them a harrow and triangulation of planets or stars or something like that and it's huge folks because no matter the triangulation of three planets or whatever the heck it is that's glowing and giving that is way bigger than more than likely I just take a wild guess we either got Mercury or Venus here more than likely okay so let's blow that up now the far outness should so very interesting that's there blown up at a thousand and that's today's shot and you got whatever we've got there, and we'll go to where it is on the map real fast. Take a quick look to the solar today.